There's a big test coming up, but Max just cannot understand economics. He sat in the lecture and it felt like it made sense, but when he goes to the problem sets, he's confused. He keeps returning to the textbook, but no matter how many times he reads, the material does not stick. How is Max going to understand economics? My advice to Max is to stop trying to understand economics. At least, stop trying to understand it through the textbook. Instead, he needs to use a technique that I learned in my last semester of college. This technique changed the way I learn. It will not only prepare you for your tests better than any other strategy out there, it'll help you remember the information a decade later. And this is a technique suggested by a Nobel laureate. I know that this works because of an experience I had over 10 years ago. I'm in the quad and I'm on the hunt. I need to talk to a stranger or I might fail my experiment. It's the day after I attended a talk by Clayton Christensen. He was one of the most respected minds on business innovation and he came to my campus to talk about how we could be innovating in education. In that talk, he suggested a technique that we could immediately implement. And I'm on the quad because I want to test it out. But each person I approach is not interested. My time is running out and I think that that's it for today. I'll have to try another time. But I try one last student and she says yes. I launch into a quick explanation of Kant's categorical imperative. This is the idea that if an action would be bad if everyone did it, then it's bad for anyone to do it. As I taught this principle to this girl, I realized that there were parts that I didn't understand. So I went back and I studied those parts. This was the experiment that Clayton Christensen challenged us to try. Instead of studying the material, we should try teaching it. And you know what's crazy? To this day, the only thing I can still explain from that philosophy class over 10 years later is the categorical imperative. That single two minute teaching experience cemented a principle in my mind for the rest of my life. You might think this is just a silly study hack and not how people actually learn material, but this is a technique suggested by one of the greatest teachers of all time. His teaching helped him learn so much, they ended up winning a Nobel Prize in physics. Richard Feynman suggested this four step process to learning. Study, teach, recognize gaps, and then simplify. Teaching is key to learning. Let me give you an example of when this technique saved my job. The focus of my PhD in economics was the intersection of economic history and development economics. So naturally, when I arrived at this university, they asked me to teach an economic history class. I thought, yeah, that's great. I took American economic history and I got a good grade. This should be easy. Then I started preparing my lectures and I realized I did not know American economic history. This was beyond unfortunate because this was the whole point of me having this job. If I can't do this, I'm not going to keep this job. But as I prepared those lectures, suddenly I started to understand the picture of American economic history. I didn't learn it until I had to teach it. And this wasn't a solo experience. A few years later, I had the opportunity to teach a development economics class. This would be much easier because my research constantly touched on development economics. Like this is something that I thought a lot more about, at least relative to American economics history. But when I sat down to prepare my lectures, I again saw that there was so much material I didn't understand. Just like with history, I didn't understand development economics until I had to teach it. We have learning completely backwards. We think we learn by listening to people teach, when in reality we learn the most when we have the chance to teach. So how can you implement this in your life? You don't have to teach random people on campus for the strategy to work though, you totally could. Let me give you a simpler way that not only lets you try this strategy, it accelerates your learning by using the critical thinking of your audience. All you have to do is explain what you're learning in your class to your roommates. Or you can call up your family and say, hey, here's something that I learned. 
Just by explaining these things, you hack into the benefits of teaching and it cements the material in your mind. Not only that, but the listeners may ask questions like, Wait, that doesn't make sense because of this thing that I know. They've just given you a gift of critical thinking because you can dive into those objections and find answers to their questions. So if you want to learn things and retain them much longer, just try teaching them. The thing is, even after harnessing the amazing power of teaching, you still need resources to learn economics. And one of the best ways to get that material is to read good books on economics. But good books can be hard to find, so make sure you watch this video next to find the best books for the topics that interest you. Do you think they'll realize that this YouTube channel is basically one big experiment in this?